Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl Season 6. We're going to be talking about some reports that have been released regarding the show's ending. So, again, if you watched yesterday's video, I said I was going to make something regarding We Got This Covered again, because actually online I've seen a lot of people believing what they've been saying, because, I mean, what they say in these few articles I'm going to go over is exactly how I would like the show to end, and how a lot of Caramel, Monel, and Kara fans would like the show to end, but I need to clear some things up, and, you know, I've seen that online, and I really feel bad any time anyone gets their hopes up when they read a We Got This Covered article and they aren't aware, so I know, and I'm aware, I made a video regarding them, like, half the video yesterday, so I'm sorry about that, but it has to be said, so yeah, we're going to be talking about this article, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so the article, well, there's two articles, and I wanted to talk about the first one that has people talking, and this is titled, Supergirl's Ending Has Reportedly Been Revealed. So apparently, according to We Got This Covered, they know how... Supergirl is going to win, so let's read through this article and break it down. Last month we learned the sad news that Supergirl will be coming to a close with its sixth season in 2021. As fans know, Stephen Amell's Emerald Archer sacrificed himself for the entire multiverse in Crisis on Infinite Earths, but will the Girl of Steel go out the same way, or will her show wrap up on a more hopeful note? That remains to be seen, but a new reporter from Scooper Mikey Sutton of Geekosity may have revealed what the CW has planned. According to the tipster, the showrunners have no intention of killing off Kara Zorel, though the ratings were too low to keep the series afloat. Everyone is keen for Melissa Benoist to return as a heroine every now and again in the yearly Arrowverse crossovers. So before we go on any further, I just want to say that is incorrect. It wasn't anything to do with the ratings as to why Supergirl is ending. Supergirl hasn't been cancelled. So many of you guys, well not you guys, not the fans, but like random people that found my videos about Supergirl ending were like, oh it's cancelled, like get over it, but it's not cancelled, it's a fact. Melissa, Warner Brothers, CW, Palanti Productions, they all came together, they had conversations, and they chose to end it like they ended Arrow. There is a difference between cancellation and ending. Cancellation means the network just pulls the plug and cuts everything off and it stops straight away. If it was cancelled, they would not order 20 more episodes of the show they don't want. They are ending the show, that's a fact. Anywhere that says it's cancelled, they've got it wrong because they're just trying to get some clicks and they are assuming a big thing. And assuming it's to do with the ratings is not the right case because it's one of the highest rated CW shows out there. And yes, it doesn't pull in flash numbers of viewers, but internationally, and also on playback on the CW app, and also in terms of adverts, it does amazing for the CW, it makes them a heck of a lot of money, and that's why they want to get at least 20 episodes, but also in a storytelling standpoint, that's great for the showrunners and Melissa, because that gives them a proper season to wrap up, so this is false, I have to emphasize that, and every time I see that, I have to say that, because it's not the case, and so let's go back to this article, so instead of killing her, Certain sources have told him that the final season will see Kara elect to leave 21st century National City and travel to the far future where she will join the Legion of Superheroes and more specifically reunite with her former partner Monel, as played by Benoist's real life husband Chris Wood. So now let's break this down. So this is coming from this guy from Geekosity, a site I've never heard of and I don't know who the hell Mikey Sutton is but he's some sort of scooper. And so I checked out his site, and his site is very unprofessional, and I'm pretty damn sure he just made this all up. So take this with the biggest grain of salt as to what he's saying, because there is no indication that this is going to happen. And whilst I would love the show to end this way for Melissa and, you know, Kara specifically to end up this way, being reunited with mon in the future, being a part of Legion of Superheroes, and them ending up being married, the fact of the matter is... Nothing's been set up in regards to this, and they most definitely haven't written the ending of the season yet, so that is what can tell you guys that this is made up, as they haven't even wrote half the season. That's not how these shows work. They don't write 20 episodes and then start episode 1 into production. They write it as they go along. 
so they most definitely haven't got to the ending and maybe it could turn out she reunites with mon -El. Obviously, I would love that to be the way it ends and I think a lot of you guys would love that too, but this source is making it up. So we're going to go over to the other article from We Got This Covered. And again, I have to emphasize how, you know, fake this is and they're bringing it up from a fake source, maybe a source that they've even created before and, you know, they have made like a bunch of articles on his stuff. And normally we got this covered as like according to our sources who told us that this but this time they're using this guy Mikey of Geekosity has told us this. Anyway so let's go on to this last article. Melissa Benoist will reportedly return as Supergirl after the show ends. So you can actually find all of this both of these articles inside that Geekosity original article that so they've just split up into two things. So a couple of weeks ago blah 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 Supergirl was announced the end they literally put the same thing. And then they go on to say Mikey Sutton says that his sources have informed them that the plan is for Melissa Benoist to come back for crossovers and the like following the climax of Supergirl season 6, though it doesn't sound like any concrete plans have been drawn up yet. Sutton claims that the Kryptonian hero will eventually return on either The Flash, Superman Lois or any of the Arrowverse shows out there. What's more, the scoop may have also revealed Kara's story will be wrapped up in season 6. Okay. And so they say this has become a popular fan theory since we learned about this news of Supergirl's end and that is in fact true. That is a fan theory. That is one of the ways that Supergirl could end. You know, there is the two options in people's minds right now. It's, oh, she's going to go off to the future. She's going to live happily ever after with the Legion of Superheroes and mon -El. They're going to marry or, you know, they're going to be together in the future because that's what a lot of us would like. However, that's very optimistic or there's the complete opposite way which is very pessimistic which is that Supergirl will die in season 6 kind of like how Arrow ended considering Oliver Queen in fact did die before the show ended so there is the possibility however let's go over to geekositymag.com where Mikey Sutton has been writing this stuff so he says Supergirl will not die in a sixth and final season he puts a full stop it's a fact which in the case of this is actually not a fact and he's making it up but let's move on to talk about what he says so supergirl may be ending because of ratings decline yeah that doesn't mean the characters finish that is not the case once again making it up and it really just backs up the idea that the source is fake because he doesn't even know what he's talking about in terms of you know reliability and what has actually happened so his sources obviously aren't telling him anything because he's making them up himself so according to his sources possible spoiler warning is required here. Supergirl will be reunited with her former flame mon -El, and travel to the far future to be with him ending with them being married. Beyond that I am told Supergirl will make some guest appearances on other Arrowverse shows. So he's writing this and he is not saying anything concrete. He is just saying that according to his sources and by the way those sources will have to be actual writers from the writers room and writers from the writers room don't spill secrets. It's in their job. They're not going to spill secrets like this because the fact that, you know, it's not actually been wrote yet. So unless he's actually best friends with one of the writers on Supergirl or the showrunners, which I highly doubt he is, this information is false. And it's just a fan theory. It is simply a fan theory as the We Got This Covered article says. So, yeah. Don't take anything like this very seriously from We Got This Covered this geekosity or anything else like that make sure it comes from a verifiable source and it links back to a properly verified site like tv line entertainment weekly or anything like that make sure that other people are posting about it because this news hasn't been news anywhere else and that's because it can't be backed up and it is false news that has been made up and of course we got this covered picks up on it because they want to get some views and some clicks from it because that is what they strive on. They strive on spreading false information and they've got a very notorious track record and people know about it. So I'm sorry for being a bit ranty in this video and I'm sorry that is not like a normal video but we'll get back to those normal videos once again but I had to bring it up because this just annoys me every time. Someone makes it up, someone gets someone's hope up on the internet, on social media when they find this certain apparent piece of news that is in fact made up and it's just a fan theory and it's just there for them to get some clicks. 
So that's about it for this video guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully it helped you out and hopefully you weren't too excited if you saw this on Twitter or something. But yeah, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. It really helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new and turn on notifications and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.